so glad you told me about the Bible and the message it has for me. I, I never knew God cared so much about me. Me neither. In fact, it's given me a new way of looking at everything. I just hope we can take this message to everyone else. Me too. I can't imagine why anyone would try and keep the message of the Bible to themselves. Well, I don't know about that. I can't believe that Westheimer or Sharp would even read the Bible. Now, you're sure that the rest of the crew has no idea what they're up to? <laughs> Positive. The commander has everyone fooled. I'll have to fix that. Oh, good. I'm glad you two are here. I have a plan to get both the Bible and Doodah back to us safely. It's going to take a little bit of effort, but I think that we can pull it off. Well, let's hear it, Captain. All right. It goes something like this. It won't be long, and soon we'll be back on Earth. We can get you some help for your poor, <laughs> poor sickness. <laughs> I'm not sick, and you know it. You just want the Bible for yourself. <laughs> Did you hear him, Doctor? He still thinks he's not sick. <laughs> it's a common symptom, Commander. Trooper, when we get to Earth, take him to a holding cell and make sure he stays in quarantine. I'll examine him then and make sure that no one gets near him. Mm. It's all arranged, Commander. The dealer will meet us when we get to Earth and it will only take a few minutes to sell the Bible. And then we will be off to buy our own planets. <laughs> I gotta tell you, Doc, I thought for sure Armstrong had, would have figured out that he had the Bible. But he didn't, and now we do. And it's all ours. <laughs> Commander, we're entering Earth orbit now. Good. Come on, Doctor, let's go buy a planet. <laughs> All right, is everyone clear on what they're supposed to do? I'm good. Got it, no problem. One question, sir. What? What if something goes wrong? Do we have a plan B? I wish I could say we do, Lieutenant, but we don't. This plan has to work. Hey, where will they be holding Duda? Um, well, if Westheimer is sticking to her story that Duda is sick, she'll have him move to Earth Command Special Illness Unit. That building's not far from Central Headquarters. Sandra, is that where you were supposed to meet the dealer? Sure is. Zippity, can you put us down close to Earth Command? Does a one-legged duck swim in circles? Yeah! Oh!
learn to do what the Bible says to do, then we can have joy and we can say, and if we learn to do what the Bible says to do, then we can have joy and we can say, So good to finally get back to Earth after chasing that Bible all over space. Yeah. You know what? I think that God got us here safely, so the best thing we can do before we tackle our plan is to ask Him for help. Okay. Let's do it. Dear God, we just come before Him, we, we say thank you that you brought us to Earth safely. But most importantly, we, we just thank you that you've keeping us safe. And we ask that you help us now as we put this plan into action, that you would keep Duda safe, that you would help us get the Bible back so that we could share it with the whole world and the whole universe. That's all. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. Hey, hey, you, over there. Hello? Oh, man. Anyone, can anyone hear me out there? Oh, man. Why? I'm talking to you, man. Just let me out of here. You know I'm not sick. Come on, man. Oh, this is just not right. Just not right. I'm stuck in here, man. What are you doing? What? And who are you? I guess you're supposed to try to, to make me be quiet, right? With your funny outsuit and your big silver hammer. Now look, I'm going to continue to talk. Man of West Timer and, and Sharp, they're, they're trying to sell the most precious, precious thing that we've ever seen, the Bible. And I'm stuck in here with a fake sickness. What are you doing? I'm not going to stop talking. Wait, wait. Zip! Dude, ah! What are you doing? Man. Hey, hey, which one of these things let you out of there? I think it, yeah, yeah, I think it's that one. Oh, man. It is so good it's to see good you. It's good to see you, man. Oh. Man, how, how did you get here? What, what how'd you? Kind of fancy schmancy, huh? Man. Oh, yeah, you know, I found this, uh, this uniform down in the basement, and I thought, you know, if I got in it, I could come rescue you. Man, it's good to see you, man. You too. Hey, where's Captain and Zandra? And it, where's the Bible, man? Oh, okay, look, we've got a plan. We're going to get the Bible back, but we've got to meet them, so... So what's the plan? What's the plan? I, I, I'll tell you on the way. Let's okay, go. Come on, let's go. Wait for the lights. Okay. We're here. Do you have the money? Okay, where is it? Hello? Money? Here? Uh, I think, Commander, he wants to see the Bible first. He, he probably wants to make sure it is authentic. Authentic? No one's seen this thing for 300 years. How's he gonna know if it's authentic or not? Commander, he has the money and we want it. Just give him the Bible. Okay, fine.
<laughs> Thank you, Commander. We were looking for this. Armstrong? What? We've got the Bible. Yeah. You two are going to jail. Yeah. Run, Caesar. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh, oh. Commander, why do you want the Bible so badly? Because it's worth a lot of money. I can buy my own planet, and I don't have to listen to you or anyone else ever again. But Commander, the Bible is worth so much more than a planet. The Bible can show you how to have forgiveness and joy and peace and happiness. The Bible needs to be shared with everyone in the whole world not kept to yourself. Look, the only thing I need to know is what level sunblock to wear while I lay on my planet's beach. And this, this captain will get it for me. Get this from us. Oh, Captain, I think we will. Now give us the Bible and I will release your friend. Don't do it, Captain. Captain, you wouldn't want to know what will happen if you don't. He won't have to! Let her go now. Admiral Jones, it's good to see you, sir. Care to tell me what's going on here, Captain? Yes, I would. You see, I mean, it's also actually, sir, I can explain. See, the captain here has, he's contracted a rare space. Illness, yeah, yeah, I know. My daughter has told me all about it. And how there are no medical scans to prove that these men are sick at all. The special illness unit says there's nothing wrong with the man you sent them. It would lead me to believe that someone has made the whole thing up. Yeah, someone did, actually. Dr. Starr, what? He was the one who conspired what? to steal the Bible away from Armstrong. It was his idea no. to come up with this space illness. I was just going along to pretend that I... But no, I'm no, get the she is lying. I don't know of anyone in the galaxy that will believe that story. Take these two away. No, 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 Captain Armstrong, may I see the Bible, please? Yes, sir. I will need to confer with my fellow commanding officers to see if this Bible is what my daughter says it is. I will meet you here tomorrow to let you know of our decision. But sir, let me just tell you something a little bit Captain about Captain Armstrong, it. that is in order. Now you go get some rest, and that goes for all of you. Yes, I will sir. see you tomorrow. Good work, son. Thank you, sir. Well, guys. I guess all we've got left now is to go get some rest, and we'll see you in the morning what the Admiral decides. Hey, Captain. I just want to say thanks for everything. It's been a real pleasure. Now I know that the Bible is real, and what it says is real, and I want to help you share that with all the people. Oh, uh, me too, sir. I as well, Captain. Count me in, sir. Excellent. Well, no matter what the Admiral finds out, we know...
that if we follow the teachings of the Bible, we'll win. Isn't that right? Yes. Thank you, too, for all the help that you've given to me. I could not have done this without you. So we'll wait for the Admiral in the morning. You guys get a good night's sleep. Hi, right, Captain. I have a proclamation to make. After careful review and consideration, it is the decision of Earth Command that the Bible is real. Yes. <laughs> With that in mind, I am giving Captain Jonathan Armstrong and the crew of the Starship Abram the task of taking the message of the Bible to everyone, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. I have medals as well. All right. Captain Armstrong. <laughs> Zippity. <laughs> Duda. <laughs> My daughter, Lieutenant Jones. Sandra. Thank you, Admiral. No, thank you, Captain, for bringing such wonderful treasure back to Earth for all to share. Now, 
Don't waste any time. There are people that need to hear the good news of the Bible. Thank you, sir. Well, you heard me, man. Let's go. Um, Zandra, it seems I'm going to be in the need of a new first officer. Would you like to join us? Hmm. Let's see. Serve aboard a state-of-the-art spaceship traveling the galaxy carrying the most important message of all time, or go back to scavenging. I think I'll go with you, Captain. Excellent. Let's go.